A groundbreaking project is taking shape in the heart of the Texas desert. The world's first 3D printed hotel. At El Cosmico, an existing hotel and campground on the outskirts of Marfa, 43 new hotel units and 18 residential homes are being constructed across 60 acres, all utilizing a massive 3D printer. Yeah, 3D printing gives you a lot more room to experiment and to, or even if you're sort of like quite confident, to do more organic forms and shapes. Of course, if you want a square, we, you, we can print a square. But I think what you sort of find is like curves and organic forms and sort of more natural tectonics end up feeling somehow more comfortable, more human, more safe, more warm, more inviting. Uh... Layer by layer, the printer creates structures that challenge traditional construction methods. And sort of as you, you, you walk in right away, you see this is gonna be a, uh, a three bedroom unit. And so we, we have like one of the bedrooms here. And so like, you know, right now without the roof on, you can't quite tell that it's a, uh, you know, how, how the sort of the logic of the home will work. But each, each volume of the home is essentially a circular space. I, I keep close tabs on that kind of thing, and I think that we are, it's fair to say we will be the first 3D printed hotel in the world. Um, I've been excited since the moment I stepped foot on the, at, the, at the Icon Factory and I met Jason Ballard. Units, one a three bedroom residential space and the other a single room hotel unit feature single story walls that rise 12 feet 3.7 meters high with curvy beige colored exteriors. This innovative design allows for unique architectural elements, including curves, domes, and parabolas, features that would typically be too expensive to replicate using conventional building techniques. Such creativity showcases the unprecedented possibilities enabled by 3D printing technology. I mean, most hotels are contained within four walls. And a lot of times you are building the same unit over and over and over again. I've never been able to build with uh, so, such little constraint and such fluidity. As the printer operates, a technician closely monitors its progress, ensuring the robotic arm and nozzle moves smoothly through the construction site. The ink used is a proprietary cement-based material known as lavacrete, formulated for strength, affordability, and effective printing. On hotter days or hotter shifts, when the concrete dries out faster, it creates like a lighter color, and then on overnight shifts or days that are cloudy or colder, the, 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 the concrete will cure uh, a little darker. And so it creates this nice, natural, quasi-random uh, but not completely random variation in the material that is just like way better than like a sterile uniform paint or something like that. And so we're really proud of the way this is coming out. It's the first time on a project we've sort of let this happen or sort of done it, uh, been random on purpose, if that makes sense. Workers skillfully blend the lavacrete ingredients, adjusting the mixture based on real-time weather conditions, factors such as humidity, temperature, and irradiance that influence the material's behavior. So in the conventional construction method, there are a lot of workers on site. And then even if they're not really professional skateboard, they are very, uh, they know what they're doing for a specific job that they're doing. But, but with 3D printing, you just cut so many of those jobs and, and then you only need a few people that are able to, to work with the 3D printer. So that, that could be one of them. Obviously, from the uh, construction point of view, that's that's not going to be a disadvantage because still you're going to do it. But I think from the social point of view and the effect in the economy, 
in terms of the local jobs, especially in remote areas, that could be one of the challenges that we uh, need to consider when we are going to to the 3D printing. Uh, While these technological advancements promise efficiency and innovation, they also raise concerns about potential job displacement for skilled laborers. As the construction industry evolves, it will be essential to consider these implications, especially in remote areas where job opportunities may be limited. The use of 3D printing technology also significantly reduces construction waste. Traditional building methods often result in excess materials and inefficiencies. You know, the, the base mixture is a, is a you know, it's, it's a little bit secret, so I, I won't give you all the, the formula, so to speak, but it's, uh, in, we've restricted ourselves to a list of like sort of globally and ubiquitously available materials so that we can do this all over the world and do it affordably all over the world. So no exotic materials, no super expensive materials. And then sort of the magic happens in the admixtures that allow us to continue printing. This printer has now been running for like something like 36 hours straight. Um, and it allows us to print, you know, overnight. Last night it was like 55 degrees and today I think the high will be 85. And so the material behaves differently in different humidity and different temperature and different levels of irradiance. And so actually we're like adjusting the ingredients in the mixture in the formula ever so slightly about every 15 minutes so that we can continue printing uh, literally sort of rain or shine. Um. However, 3D printing allows for precise calculations and on-demand production, minimizing the environmental impact. This sustainability aspect makes 3D printing an appealing choice in a world increasingly focused on eco-friendly practices. Additionally, the speed at which 3D printing can construct buildings presents a transformative advantage. What once took months of labor-intensive work can now be completed in a fraction of the time, allowing for quicker project turnaround and the ability to address housing shortages more effectively. This rapid construction capability is especially beneficial in areas that require immediate solutions, such as disaster relief zones or rapidly growing communities. Most people on the street don't understand it when you say 3D printing. Like, how does that work? Are there a bunch of little Xerox machines printing plastic parts that, you know, like it's, it's, it's something that you have to explain to people. I don't think that'll be true in the next few years. I think people will start to become familiar with 3D printing. But a hotel, I think, is always a great way to be exposed to something you might not be exposed to at home. As El Cosmico sets a precedent for the future of hospitality, it also serves as a case study for the broader implications of 3D printing in construction. With its ability to create bespoke designs and reduce costs, 3D printing could democratize architecture. And, and I really see that the, the future will be a, definitely an automated, more automated way, even if it's not fully 3D printed, but the conversion are using labor for, for every single step of construction that we do not have and will not continue for so long. And then the automation is, is taking over, and I think the, that's that's a way for this. So it's hard to uh, fight against the the automation and the the additive manufacturing. Making innovative housing solutions accessible to more people, this evolution in construction not only enhances creativity, but also emphasizes the importance of adaptability in addressing global challenges from urbanization to climate change. The expansion of El Cosmico is expected to be completed by 2026, with hotel unit rates ranging from $200 to $450 per night. This pioneering project not only aims to redefine the hospitality experience, but also sets the stage for the future of construction.